coming to you from Australia, it's Idiot Box Radio. Please welcome the hardest working type 2 diabetic in podcasting. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Hey there guys, welcome to the show, Idiot Box Radio. I'm Tori, you're not. Welcome to another episode of the dulcet tones from Down Under. Not Down Under, but from Down Under in Australia, like the southern continent. Continental, not cunt, continental. This show is not safe for work, let me warn you. Please go to the website idiotboxradio.com, you'll find all the links to everything I do, including my live stream on TikTok, where you may be one of the many people I've gussed things with, including the nature of words every night when I stream live at about 9pm Eastern Australia. Australian time. All right, today is a book review, so either keep on skipping or learn about the books. Let me hold it up for you. It'll be in the background anyhow, because green screen. This is the new Stephen King book, Billy Summers. It was an absolute banger of a book that I smashed my way through really quickly, and I will imagine that you will as well, so be sure to get around it. The book Billy Summers is about an assassin, surprisingly enough, named Billy Summers, who's on his last job. And you hear about that in the movies, but Billy has been offered several million dollars to bump off an informant and when he does things go wrong. Wrong to the point he's then on the run for his life after having rescued a young girl from the streets who invariably is the one that saves his soul. Touching, yes. Is it well paced? Yes it is. The fascinating part about this book which I absolutely adored and I do really recommend that you pick it up. There's not an ounce of horror in there however there are nods. King has been doing this a lot lately. In fact he's done it for a very long time now. He he nods and mentions other books that he's written in his universe and his universe is massive but in this one if you're a fan of The Shining there's several very nice non-supernatural nods that are sort of supernatural to the Overlook Hotel but this whole story is not set in the Overlook Hotel. Billy Madison before he became a killer was in the United States uh, armed services and he was a sniper. Now the nice thing is though during this book part of his cover for the hit that he's about to undertake is that he is an author and he starts writing about his experiences in the army and you get to read that as well as what he's doing in his day getting ready to do the big hit and I found this fascinating and I think that it was really clever that Stephen King put that in there it almost felt as though Stephen King was doing this as a litmus test for you know what could potentially come next like uh, you know would we want him to write a war story and I can tell you what based on how the way he wrote for Billy Summers as Billy, I would love to read a Stephen King war story. Whether it had supernatural stuff or not, he proved himself not that he needs to prove fucking anything, but he proved to me he can write a compelling war story. And it was about uh, Billy's time in Fallujah and just the stuff that he wrote about was brilliant. This entire story is fantastic. It tells you why he is one of the best authors on planet Earth today and he's certainly one of the most prolific It'll be a great loss when uh, he is no longer with us. And I actually dread that day because I've read almost all of his books, which means, you know, we're coming to a point in time that sadly there won't be another Stephen King book. But what a amazing testament to this guy that we've got these beautiful books now. This is a fantastic read. It's super fast. You don't have to be very, very literate to be able to uh, enjoy this to its full. Uh, don't be put off by the fact it's a thick book. It's a super, super fast read. And yeah, I've said it before, but I can't recommend it highly enough. So get into it. Billy Summers by Stephen King. Hope you enjoy that. Make sure you do check out the links. You can become a patron. Get your name shouted out at the end of the show. Until next time, I'm Tori, and I'll see you live on TikTok. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Cheers.